Bonjour everyone, I hope you are all doing well. Today we are gonna dive into my shame drawer. I think we all have this one drawer that's full of makeup that we never use and that we should not use anymore because it's been sitting there for years. Don't lie to me, I know you have one too. My plan for the next few weeks is to completely reorganize my makeup storage. So I have a sort of shelf with drawers um, and that's where I keep all of my makeup. My personal makeup used to be in one of the drawers but now that my professional makeup kit is getting bigger and bigger I actually need the entire shelf to storage everything that I have. So that's what I've been doing for the past few months. All of my personal makeup is on that side and all of the lipsticks that I'm currently using and that are not expired are on that side too. But when I was going through everything that I have in the shelf, I found that one drawer that's that I haven't opened in years, to be honest with you. Like most of us, I guess I was really obsessed with lipsticks and with liquid lipsticks in particular. I was just hoarding them because I was traveling a lot at the time. I feel like for a really long time I kept all of these lipsticks in one box and then I moved here in this apartment. I threw all of my lipstick in one drawer, I closed it and basically I never reopened it. So that's why I completely forgot about them and I didn't even know they, they were still in my apartment. So obviously I haven't used them in years and full disclaimer because they are some of them are very very old, I never ever use them in my kit and I would never use them on my client. That was only my personal collection a few years ago. And when I opened the drawer, it, I, it made me a little bit emotional because I don't know, it just brought back so many memories and it just made me a little bit nostalgic to see all of these brands, these products, these colors that we used to wear in 2016, which was you know, it was a bit, bit intense, but it was a, a, a really fun makeup era. Like people were just wearing the craziest things and that was fine. And it just made me so happy to remember that time. So I thought that I would do a final goodbye to all of these little treasures that I accumulated through the years. And for the people who are about my age and were buying makeup, at the time. I'm sure it will bring a lot of memories for you too. Let's start with the brand that I was completely obsessed with. That's probably the brand where I bought the most lipsticks from. As soon as I would receive my paycheck, I would go on their website and buy the new shades. When they had a sale, oh my gosh, I would buy like all of the craziest colors, even like knowing that I would not wear a dark blue lipstick I would still buy it I think I just had this you know this this sense of collection like I wanted to have all the shades and I'm obviously talking about the Velveteens from Lime Crime as you can see I have quite a lot of them I have 13 lipstick from them and I know I used to have a lot more than that I actually finished some all the way up these Velveteens are between six and eight years old. Let's start with the nude-ish colors. So I think one of the first ones I bought was the shade Kashmir. It used to be one of their most popular shades. I think the Velvetins are making a comeback. I think they stopped producing them at some point, but I think they are coming back. I saw some ads on Instagram. So to be honest, I might buy them again because their formula used to be my favorite still up to this day i think the formula was pretty good like i remember them being very thin and very long lasting and they were not too drying if i remember properly i would like to try them again today because now we have so many beautiful lipstick formulas so i would like to compare to see what it's actually worth now the shade cashmere was actually a pretty weird shade like especially on my skin tone like my lips would completely disappear and we were not wearing lip liner, like it was not, not as popular as it is now, like far from that. 
weirdly they are still smelling okay <laughs> i won't risk it i won't put it on my lips but yeah they still look fine these four shades were my absolute favorite in terms of neutrals like um, the perfect shades for every day i have sasha riot teddy bear and paulette very very nice like all different shades of neutrals especially riot i think it was my favorite like it's a dark like rosewood sort of pink and i would still wear a similar shade today and then i had a few weird vibrant shades i had pumpkin that's a pumpkin color i love pumpkin lipstick especially for uh, blue eyes it really makes the color pop so that's a shade that i would definitely buy again red roses that was a very bright pink never liked it probably wore it only a couple of times the shade psycho i don't think i've ever wore it once i think i got it on sale for like five dollars so i just bought it for the collection that's so bad i was just wasting so much money and so much product knowing that i would never wear them another similar case it's the very popular black velvet that was always one of the best sellers it was such um, a rich and opaque black lipstick back in the days we didn't have that many great formulas so having such a great black shade like that was really uncommon obviously never really worn it probably a couple of times for halloween but that's pretty much it and i don't know if you remember but they came up with the weirdest metallic shades it was popular at some point it always looked really weird and disgusting to be honest so i had a dark pink and a dark red called eclipse and raising hell and also from lime crime i had four shades of the plushies they came out way later uh, with that i think these ones are probably five years old which is still very disgusting the packaging is really cute there's a little teddy bear here on the cap like that was very much my vibe back then and these ones were i guess similar to what we would call a lip stain now they had a pretty sheer coverage they would dry matte and they would kind of like stain your lips so yeah i guess that was the the first lip stains that we had i think i got this when the liquid lipstick trend was dying down so they were never really part of my everyday makeup basket i had a lot of these sephora collection lip stains they are still selling them uh, up to this day it's pretty much the same formula and even the same shades and i still think that it's a good product especially for the price if you want something that's very long lasting i would definitely recommend them i had again like the weirdest nude color that would probably make my lips look terrible and dry and very small this like weird almost gray taupe sort of color that i think could be nice on some skin tones with a lip liner but on on a skin tone like mine like on a fair skin tone i don't think so i also have two of the same shade the shade 26 it's actually a very beautiful shade it's the perfect chocolate brown shade um, i actually would love to have that again in my kit i don't think i would would i wear that now i don't know i think i would i think i would actually wear a chocolate brown something that i would not buy again though is this shade this one is a very bright neon orange that's nice but just too bright for my taste now and this one oh my gosh you can't imagine how popular that was back then it almost looks black on the lips that was so cool i remember being obsessed with that i still like it but like yeah i would not wear it every day like i i used to wear that every day like to go to work and stuff like that also it's very high maintenance obviously because every sip or every bite that you're taking it's so dark so when there's a little piece coming off you can see it right away these ones were other very popular shades that i had i think i was wearing these two the most it's um shade 17 and 24. this one is a dark rosewood 
um, shade like I still love to this day and that's a pretty nice neutral red so these two very easy to wear I lost the cap that's how old it is and I'm pretty sure that it's ab about 10 years old I'm laughing but it's actually not funny it's kind of gross <laughs> yeah and it still smells fine like I don't know if liquid lipsticks actually smell bad when they're expired but I mean if I didn't know how old these were I, I wouldn't think that they are expired obviously cannot talk about liquid lipsticks without mentioning NYX that was one of the first drugstore brands for a very long time actually to offer nice uh, liquid lipsticks the oldest ones that I have from this brand right now are these two metallic glosses that are blue and dark gray and I am sure that they are 10 years old because I bought them when I was in makeup school because you know when you're in makeup school you want to do a lot of creative makeups editorial just to show your style and that was 10 years ago for me yeah and this one smells like very very strong paint I don't know if they originally smell like that but now I wouldn't put something that smells like that on my lips no thanks also what was I thinking wearing these kind of colors first of all they are very dark colors and very unusual shades and the fact that it's a gloss formula and I remember the formula being very thick and sticky probably was going all over the place like especially wearing a blue can you imagine when you're like taking a sip of water or if you're I don't know like putting some on your clothes like that was probably so annoying to wear and to maintain through the day also why was I carrying this with me for all of these years who doesn't remember this butter gloss from lipstick if you were on YouTube in 2016 everyone was talking about it and I remember some of my favorite youtubers were always um, wearing this shade which is called creme brulee it was actually a pretty nice shade I think we have better ones for now obviously but back then there was not many neutral makeup everything was like weird old school shades I never liked the texture though because again I remember them being very sticky and thick another one from NYX that I actually never wore because I don't remember why but I hated the texture so much so from what I can see it's a very very thick and pigmented gloss that would give you a vinyl effect but I remember it being again so hard to maintain because the shade is so dark and it's so sticky and it would just like run everywhere on the corner of the mouth like it would just go all over the place so I probably tried it once and then never touch it again and also the very very popular NYX lingerie these ones are actually not that old because I see that I bought them from shoppers so I'm assuming that they are about four years old which is still very old for a lipstick please don't wear a lipstick that's four years old I guess I was still into this sort of like taupe gray kind of shades and that one was a very nice dark pink I remember these products to be very dry on the lips like I would always apply a lip balm first but even though my lips would be so dry and then when a bit of lipstick is coming off after eating or drinking or whatever and you would reapply a second layer over top it would be so thick and dry very uncomfortable to wear I have a couple of lipsticks from Urban Decay this one is some of their classic bullet it's the shade S that's a beautiful orangey sort of red that I find it very flattering on my skin tone it smells kind of weird but that's expected because I think this one is at least six years old I would say and that one is the weirdest one of my collection the weirdest one I have ever owned it's a purple gloss with big chunks of glitter and I remember buying it because I found it for super super cheap at winners I think I paid like two or three dollars for it so I was like ah okay whatever even if I'm wearing it once or twice it's fine I just want to try it 
obviously without any surprise I absolutely never put it on <laughs> can't do this video without at least one liquid lipstick from Kat Von D she was the goddess of liquid lipstick I remember it was my dream to own one of her shades and I think the brand was not available in France yet and I lived in Australia at some point so I found it at a Sephora there I lost it I was obsessed with it this one is the shade Vampira which is a very very dark red and what I love about it is that it doesn't it's not too purple a lot of dark red tend to have purple pigments when this one doesn't I could probably wear a similar shade on special occasions in terms of formula they were between Lime Crime and NYX they were still dry but not as dry as the NYX and the te texture was a little bit thicker than the Lime Crime so I was not impressed honestly it's just because I was really a big fan of the shade I, I thought even back then that it was very overhyped um, I think they reformulated it now but that's I don't think that's a brand that I'm interested in anymore another one that was very popular back then was Too Faced I feel like Too Faced reached their peak in 2016 2017 this lipstick the bullet I don't know if you've ever seen it this one it, we could almost call it vintage at this point because it's probably a good 10 11 years old I remember I had a nude shade as well that I finished all the way up and I really really loved that pink shade that was I, I can't even read the shade name anymore because the packaging is just very old it was a cute neutral pink perfect for every day and again I feel like back then it was quite hard to find young newer brands that were offering this kind of product so that was one of my favorites and I remember they were quite expensive because Too Faced is not a cheap brand and when I bought this I was a student so I was very very broke but because I paid for them full price I was using them all the time a few years later I got one of these uh, Christmas limited edition uh, lipstick shade that was called gingerbread I feel like they are all called gingerbread every year but I remember loving this shade I was wearing it very often anything that's a bit orangey rust kind of shades was totally my vibe I also got one of their melted latex lipstick I got this one for very very cheap as well at the same time as I bought the purple weird urban decay too so I guess that day I was very inspired never wore it once because obviously it is very pigmented and has a very runny and sticky texture so super high maintenance MAC was also super popular for the lipstick this one it's actually super gross like the packaging is was sort of velvety plastic like a NARS could be but after some time they start melting and they become super sticky like there's no way to clean them that's just how the plastic is aging that one was a, a collaboration with Rihanna uh, when she was working with MAC for all the Viva Glam collection oh my gosh on the bottom I don't know if you can see it has a Sephora sticker because when I was in makeup school I was working at Sephora part-time and all the makeup products that we were bringing in had to have a Sephora sticker just to prove that we were not stealing them from the store so it means that this one is 10 years old as well <laughs> and that was also a very very weird shade it's a metallic silver gray that I was using as a lip topper for when I was wearing dark liquid lip stains to turn them into a metallic shade so that was a vibe as well <laughs> and I had this one the Modesty Cream Sheen from MAC that's actually a very nice neutral color very comfortable on the lips probably my most beautiful piece of this collection if we can call it like that it's this I don't think it's a lipstick I think it was more supposed to be a blush 
from Paul and Joe. And what's so particular about it is the packaging, that's very nice. And also because the bullet is shaped as a little kitty. But as you can guess, it's so cute that I never used it. This lipstick from Jeffree Star, good product, bad brand. I would not purchase from this brand again, but I remember I was obsessed with all the different shades that he was offering because there was all the different colors of the rainbow, which was very unique back in the days. This one is from Kiko. If you're from Europe, you're familiar with this makeup brand. It's amazing. I miss it a lot because they have a lot of great products for a very affordable price. And from what I can hear, their products are even better now. So next time I go to friends, I'll make sure to go do a little shopping there. But that's a nice sheer coral lipstick that I used to love wearing in the summer. I bought it in France and I've been in Canada for five, so this is old too. <laughs> I have a couple glosses, one from Laura Mercier and one from Face Atelier. I remember buying these glosses just to give it a try, try the formula, and I'm just not a big fan of gloss in general. I just rather wear a lip oil instead. Also that packaging from Laura Mercier like it's probably really old because I don't see her making products like that anymore. And the last one is from Quo Beauty from Shoppers. If you live in Canada um, you know it's the drugstore that we have here and it's their home brand which is actually a pretty good brand like I have a few of their products in my makeup kit but that one was just a weird one so basically it's a lip balm I don't know if you can see but it has it's half green and half orange so when you apply it on your lips it looks clear there's not supposed to be a shade but I found that my lips still had a sort of weird green cast and for a lip balm, you, I thought it was not hydrating at all. So that's why I never really used it. And that's it. That was 45 lipstick slash lip products that are very old and that I'm very happy to declutter. Going through all of this lipstick brought me to all the different time in my life you know obviously in 10 years a lot of change and seeing all of these shades and like you know the different aesthetics that I had is cute like I I'm happy where I am now <laughs> now I have about six ten lipsticks most of them neutral um, some red ones but that's it and I'm very rarely buying lip products for myself like unless I really really like a shade I usually don't because I'd rather have less products that are better quality and also shades that I'm actually using. So I'm not wasting my money and also, you know, not wasting products that are going to end up in the landfill. But now I've said my goodbyes, they can go in the garbage and I can start fresh reorganizing my new stuff. I might be showing that to you in a separate video just to show you how I'm organizing my shelves and all of my backup products. Let me know in the comments if that's something that you would like to see on my channel. And if you like anything that's makeup and makeup artist related, please subscribe to my channel if it's not already done. Thanks for watching. I hope that was entertaining. That was the only purpose of this video. I will see you soon for more makeup artist career oriented and more um, educational videos, but that one was just for fun. <laughs> I'll put a video here for you if you want to watch something next. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bisous!